Hello, friends, and welcome into the Cowboys Report presented by BetDSI, the Internet's number one sports book. Amari Cooper was the big move by the Dallas Cowboys, and the hope is that he is going to be the Cowboys' number one wide receiver. Now, a lot of the national media ripped the Cowboys, and I think for some good reasons, that they get a first-round pick for a guy that the past two years hasn't actually been very productive. 22 catches this year for 280 and a score. 48 for 680 and 7 TDs last season, and he's been plagued by drops throughout his NFL career. So we're going to have a little film study now for Amari Cooper and see, okay, can he actually be the true number one receiver that the Cowboys need, or did they spend a first-round pick on a guy that could end up being a bust? So look at a couple different things here for Amari Cooper, but first up, I want to take a look at how he does on 50-50 balls, those jump balls that the Cowboys like to do with Des Bryant. Don't think it makes quite as much sense, though, for Amari Cooper and the Cowboys because Amari Cooper simply isn't that great at it. Now, here's a, an example of a deep ball, which the Raiders have not done enough of this year. This is last year's game. Cooper can't quite reel it. Now, look, it's a tough catch. You're not going to make that every time. That's also why it's called a 50-50 ball. You would like to see Amari come down with that ball and pull it in. Couldn't do it. And again here, this is also last year against the Denver Broncos. First off, this is why E.J. Mann was out of the NFL, because that was a terrible play. But if you're Amari, you'd like to see him find a way to take that ball in or at least knock it down. So Amari, this is one of his weaknesses. I don't think he's a great 50-50 ball guy, but I think that's okay. Now, today's show is brought to you by BetDSI. Go to chatsports.com slash bet promo code Cowboys120 for a 120% deposit bonus. Then DM me on Twitter at WhatGoingDowny. I got a couple orders left, but not that many. So DM me at WhatGoingDowny. We'll hook you up with one if you deposit with BetDSI. Back to Cooper. Now, someone on YouTube told me he wasn't very fast. Well, I don't know what Amari Cooper you're watching. Amari Cooper is indeed fast. He's a 4-4-40 guy out of Alabama. And even last year, this is him just being fast. Now, yeah, there's a bad angle and there's a great block as well, but Cooper can run. I don't think he's the most dangerous guy with the ball in his hands after the catch, but he's pretty darn good at it. Now, I don't know what 49 was doing on that play either, but Cooper can make some stuff happen when he gets the ball in his hands, especially in space here against the Titans also from last year. He can make some plays happen. That is a little just simple drag route, and Cooper picks up some big yards, a couple of nice moves. He's not going to be a Des Bryant just shedding tackles or even a tight end type guy there. He's going to make some guys with, with agility and speed, even if he's not going to truck over guys. Now, again, this play I like quite a bit because it's a simple, short, little two, three-yard hitch route. Bad angle, to be fair. But Cooper does more than just get two yards. He gets the first down. That's the type of yards that have to catch stuff you want. I think you guys all remember this play, too. This is just pure effort. This, by the way, is not the move of a player who doesn't like football. I'll just get that out of the way now. Cooper, I think, does like football. Now, this one here, I would have preferred him going to the outside, but the corner did a good job of cutting it down. He picked up some yards there. And then this play little teaser here. Cooper got kind of hung up to dry because he only, he only picks up a few yards, but look at the alternate angle here. That ball's almost in the dirt. So not really on Amari Cooper on that one, but after the catch, and by the way, there's no Tavon Austin now. Maybe let Amari Cooper be your jet sweep guy. He's done it before. A great move there. He can do that, and that gets the ball in the hands of your best receiver relatively easily. So I would hope with Tavon Austin banged up, Maybe Amari Cooper becomes that. We need, we need a little jet sweep action to get the ball to him rather than a cornerback in Jordan Lewis. Now, how many touches per game should Cooper have? Maybe he can be the, the dozen to two dozen guy that Stephen Jones talked about, right? I kid. We all know that Stephen Jones was talking about snap counts, not touches. But if you can approach seven per game, like actual good touches, I think that makes more sense for Amari Cooper given you still want to feed Zeke quite a bit. Now, the one thing we know about Dak Prescott, he needs receivers that create separation. The best part about Amari Cooper is he creates separation. This one here, that's just a simple hitch route. Now, look, the Chiefs were bad at the secondary in that game, but Cooper did a great job getting open on that one. And then this one here, this is against the Denver Broncos, by the way. He's not the best against press, but look at what he does here. Just a simple little inside move. The corner totally whiffs on the press. You beat the press easily if you just don't get touched by the quarterback. And then a similar move here. This time the corner gets his hands on Amari, but Amari with that right hand just gets him off him and gets the first down on a slant route. That's the play I want to see for the Cowboys. The box is loaded. Quick slant to Amari Cooper. I think that would work very well if you're the Cowboys. 
And then he's got some really good, I call these post out routes, and then there are other terms for them, but I think that's the simplest way to describe it. He kind of faked the post route, and then he cut to the outside. I want to see this play run for the Cowboys. The Cowboys had asked Mark Cooper if he had any fun plays. This should be one of the ones he tells them about. It's similar route here. You fake to the inside, cut out wide. He almost fell down, but that's a throw that I think Dak Prescott can make with some success. Now this one, this one's pretty. This is a sluggo, a slant and go. Burns the corner. Almost a bad throw by Derek Carr, but he burns the man. This is a this is a route that not all that different than what Michael Gallup did. You get the corner to bite, you create the separation. Dak can hit that throw every single time. And then this one here, one of his few touchdowns this season, this is just a good play by Mark Cooper. Cuts to the inside, and then he finds the soft spot in the zone. That's what you want if you're the Cowboys in the red zone because they're going to have the box loaded. Good job by Carr as well. I think in the end, Amari Cooper gets open. That is the best thing for Dak Prescott. And if you don't believe the film or me telling it to you, how about the stats then? Amari Cooper on average this year gets 3.8 yards of separation on targets. That's tied for fourth among receivers that have at least 30 targets this season. The Cowboys leading receiver in that stat is Cole Beasley with 2.5. I know you guys like Cole. Cooper can get open more easily. So hopefully that sets up well for Amari. Now as for the negative side of it, the big red flag I have are his hands. And this has been a thing that has plagued Amari throughout his NFL career. So first up here, again, that great Chiefs game, Amari Cooper. You got to make that catch. I don't know, or this, this is the example of Cooper making a great grab here, right? It's a high throw. He pulls it down. So this is proof that he does have some quality hands. The issue I have is that they aren't always there. Sometimes they come in and out. Amari, I know it's a quick pass. You got to get your head around fast. That hits him right in the hands, though. It's Yeah, it's a little bit high. He's got to make that grab. These two here from last year were really, really bad. Now, this is a corner jump ball. Again, that 50-50 contest thing I talked about earlier. He's angry at himself because that hits him in the hands. That should be a touchdown. And by the way, the play before that one was this one, and it's even worse. You got a simple slant route. It's a touchdown, and Amari bats down like he's a defensive back. That's a concern for me. Now, I don't know if it's a focus thing. I don't know if, if it's a hand strength thing. I don't think it is. Maybe it's a trying to get your head turned around too quickly thing, but Amari Cooper, for whatever reason, has dropped an abnormally high percentage of his passes. Maybe he hears footsteps on plays like this. I'm not too sure either way. That's a big red flag for the Cowboys, given what you saw with Des Bryant in the past. And for Amari, the good news is he's, he's only had two drops this year. Now, this was one of them. Uh, not all his fault. A little bit low. Also got rocked on the play. But for Amari, the drop rate is a big red flag. 8% this year, 15.9% last year, was much better in 2016, but had 20% drop rate his first year. And we ripped on Des Bryant for dropping passes. Amari Cooper, each of the last three years when both he and Des have played, Amari Cooper actually has a higher drop rate each season. That is a big red flag. Now, I think Amari can work through it in the same way I thought Des could have. But if you want to point to a reason why you don't like the Amari Cooper trigger, why he's not going to be a true number one guy, the drop rate is what you point to. Then again, he has been better this year, and his catch rate in terms of the targets to the number of balls he's caught is actually the highest it's been in his NFL career. Now, I'm glad I'm wearing my Mizzen and Main shirt right now. You can get one, too, at Comfortable.af because the next part, I think, really helps explain why Amari Cooper has not put up great numbers, and it's going to get me hot and bothered because it's really not all his fault. The big reason, Derek Carr has been a disaster this year. He has not helped Amari Cooper at all. So first off, this one isn't really on Derek Carr per se. Play action, but look at what Derek Carr sees. First off, the defender, yeah, has to get rid of it, but look at the top of your screen. That's a linebacker trailing, Derek, or trailing, trailing Amari Cooper. That's a touchdown right there if he just has time to do it. All right, this one here, I know there's some pressure, but Derek Carr, what are you doing? It's the same route we saw earlier, the sluggo. Derek Carr, I know there's a guy in your face. You miss a wide open Amari Cooper by five yards. Give him at least a chance to make a play. This one really bothers me. So it's trips right. You see Derek Carr check it down short of the first down marker. Look at what Amari Cooper's doing. Why does Derek Carr check it down instantly? He's got all day. There is nobody there to stop Amari Cooper. That would have been a 30-yard gain. Look upfield, Derek, and you have Amari Cooper wide open. More issues here. So this one 
It is a completed pass, and it's not as bad as it looks right there, but Amari Cooper's open. We'll freeze it right here. Amari's made his little hitch move there. Derek Carr's got all day. The safety has committed to come upwards. He's not going to get turned around in time. Then you have the cornerback as well. He's already hit, has pivoted and flipped his hips to come up and stop the, the check down pass. Just wait a second, Derek Carr, and it's a touchdown. That's, that's on Derek Carr, plain and simple. This one, Derek Carr is not patient anymore. I know there's some pressure there, but Amari Cooper gets open, and Derek Carr doesn't actually look at him on this play. He goes right to the check down instead of waiting for Cooper to get the first down. By the way, the pass was dropped too. This one is a pre-snap error. Derek Carr, I know it's a play action. Look to the right for a quick pass. He never looks down left. Even pre-snap, it's two at the top versus one and a half at the bottom. Even if you don't look there at first, look behind you, Derek Carr. Omar Cooper sitting there clapping his hands. There's no one near him. I don't know why, but Derek Carr just hasn't looked at Amari Cooper enough. And this one is the worst one by far. This is a surefire touchdown. Derek Carr is all day in the pocket. There's zero pressure. Amari Cooper is wide open. And Derek Carr throws it out of bounds. That should be a touchdown every single time. So there is some reason to be concerned about Amari Cooper. But after watching all the snaps this year and watching a bunch of film from last year and years before, I feel much better about Amari Cooper. Derek Carr, I think, has been a big problem for the Oakland Raiders. And I think had Amari Cooper had a better, had a better quarterback this year, he would have put up way better numbers. His lack of production so far this year is not because he's not getting open. It's because Derek Captain Checkdown Carr isn't looking his way. That's a big mistake. Hopefully the Cowboys don't make the same mistake. So we'll see if Mari can be the Cowboys' true elite number one wide receiver. But I feel a little bit better about it after watching all that Amari Cooper film. Hopefully you guys do as well. All right, folks, subscribe to our Cowboys Report channel, youtube.com slash Dallas Cowboys Report. And let me know in the comment section what you think of this film study. And we'll see you guys very soon for our next Cowboys Report.